Hey guys, it's Snowbiter, and I've got another Battlefield 3 video here for you guys. And I wanted to make another video about the AUG A3 since the first one that I posted was only a gameplay video and I didn't actually have any commentary in that video. So I did want to make another one about, uh, or uh, talk to you guys about um, what I think about the weapon. And also because I've, I've recorded quite a bit of gameplay with this weapon, so I actually have more even after this video. So I want to, <laughs> I need to find ways to somehow use that up. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably have, I actually recorded an entire round with this weapon as well, so I'll probably be posting that at some point. Uh, so expect to see some more AUG A3 gameplay beyond this uh, on, my, on my channel in the next couple weeks. Uh, so just to get into the weapon, the, the AUG A3 is the, it's the first assignment in that sort of assault rifle tree, I guess you could call it, uh, for assignments. You, it only requires uh, 10 squad revives and 30 assault rifle kills, so it's a pretty mindless assignment to complete. Uh, I don't think it should give any anybody any trouble, really, unless you're playing Team Deathmatch a ton. But uh, it's it's probably my favorite weapon, actually, out of the all the new weapons that I've tried out so far. I haven't actually gotten a chance to uh, play any of the, the maps yet and unlock the new sniper rifle or the M5K. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that right after I finish recording this commentary, but. Uh, it's it's probably my favorite weapon, and I, I think that's just because it's such a good all-around weapon. I'd I'd compare it to the L85. Uh, I think it's it's got a similar sort of feel to that weapon. Uh, it's got a slightly faster fire rate, which is good, but it doesn't have too much recoil. It's a pretty easy gun to handle, and it, it does pretty good damage too. So if if you get your bullets on target, you can take guys out pretty quickly. Uh, so it's it's been a I've had a lot of fun using it. And uh, I think the uh, the setup that I'm using is the as you can see, at least in this in this uh, clip I have no no sight on although you think you will see gameplay no, you might actually not I don't think I have any gameplay in this video with the red dot sight on and I know in the last video I posted I had some clips with the when I was using the red dot sight and I've actually decided that I like the iron sights better than the red dot sight I actually think the iron sights on this gun are pretty good uh, because it's got that it has a pretty good. Um, sort of indicator of where the center of your screen is so I've actually I found that I, I like the crosshairs and I actually play better when I when I just have the uh, when I just have the iron sights on so uh, that's probably what um, I mean I don't know I guess it depends if you're used to using scopes and I would definitely I mean you know it's not like it's it's costly to put on a scope but I just I, I found that I prefer the iron sights and then I have the underslung rail in the second slot and the heavy barrel attached in that third slot and I tried the foregrip in that second slot for a little bit, but uh, I, I just, I, I've kind of, the foregrip doesn't seem to be a very useful uh, attachment for this weapon, at least, uh, in that second slot, just because this gun really doesn't have very much recoil, so it's uh, pretty easy to compensate for, and I mean, it's not really like foregrip is going to help you that much at long range situations, which is really the only, the only, the only case where I, I find I sometimes have a little bit of trouble with this weapon. And just like compensating for recoil while getting into bullets on target at longer ranges. So uh, I just I just left the underslung rail on. You could use bipod. I, I think I tried that out a little bit, but I, I just prefer underslung rail. So I just that's what I've been using for the most part. And then heavy barrel. Uh, I use heavy barrel in the third slot, the third attachment slot. And I, I just I like heavy barrel just again because you know the flash suppressor isn't necessary because this gun doesn't have too much recoil, so it's pretty easy to control. And the heavy barrel allows you to do a little better at range, so it just makes it a, a more it makes you a little more flexible, I guess, in the uh, in the gun encounters that you get into. Uh, so I, I think just in general, this this gun is is actually a, a pretty good all-round weapon. It it does pretty well at close range. It's better at at really close range than the L85 because it has a faster fire rate, and its hip fire is actually pretty good. So. I haven't had too many problems actually when in really close close ranges, uh, so I think this gun will work well on the close quarters maps. And uh, at the same time, it's a very good medium range gun, and I, you know you can engage targets at long range. It's a little harder to do, but uh, it's it's not impossible. So I, I've th I've had a lot of fun with this gun. I think it's a really good all around weapon. And uh, another thing that I actually really like about this gun is. Uh, that when you when you scope in, you actually strafe and you strafe side to side. You strafe faster than you than you would with some of the other guns. So I, I really like that a lot, and it, it helps it helps me out a lot because 
you know, a lot of the way I play is to, you know, it's like peek around corners as I'm scoped in or something like that. And in situations like that, ha being able to strafe faster from side to side can be really helpful. So it, it allows me to just kind of move around a little bit, a little bit better and a little, uh, a little quicker. And I, you know, I can make some of those quicker movements around or in and out of cover. And it, that, that can actually really help out a lot in a, in a gunfighter if you're in sort of a tough situation. Because uh, it'll allow you to just get, you know, get a couple bolts on an enemy really quickly without them really being able, being able to, to, to get a good shot on you. Whereas if you're kind of slower with that strafing, you're going to expose yourself for a longer period of time. So this gameplay is, or this video is just about finished. Uh, it's another sort of short video, uh, but I do have more gameplay that I want to post of the Age 3. Uh, so I don't know if I'll do commentaries over, over that, but uh, I expect to see that at some point on my channel. And uh, I definitely try this weapon out. It's a lot of fun, and I think it's probably one of the best assault rifles out there. It might even I might even might even like it more than the M416. The something I think something with the last patch sort of changed the M416, so I haven't had as much success with it when I've used it. So I've been using this gun a, a lot more than really any of the other other weapons. So this may take over as my new favorite. But anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.